She likes. She just doesn't want to see yeah, you. Yeah, well, I don't believe you. What, do you think you're so damned irresistible? She came here specifically because she didn't want to have to deal with you. Respect. All right, that's the way she feels. Let her tell it to my face. No. Because I don't trust you because you're a big, fat liar. You little punk. Adam. All right, all right, okay. Hey, 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 Mattel. Why don't you get out of here? It's obvious you're not welcome it. here. Come on. Let's get in. Help, help, help. Fine. Wait, yes, I will. Wait, Come on. Wait. Why do you wear winter for... Haley, can we talk? Haley, go back in the house. I'll handle this, darling. Haley. Listen. If you want me to leave after you hear what I have to say, then I'll walk out and I'll never come back again. But please, just hear me out. Oh, honey. Oh, it doesn't hurt that bad. How Come wonderful. On. Oh, yes. My mm. very own magic fingers. Um, you know what? Yeah, doctor's orders. Okay. And inhale. Yes, yes, excellent. Breathe into the pain. Oh, honey. Yes. Oh, it doesn't hurt that bad. How Come wonderful. On. Oh, yes. My mm. very own magic fingers. Oh. Sven doesn't have to worry about competition from you. From the look on Dixie's face, you get a D minus in Massage 101. That was the day she lost the baby. Sorry? She lied to me. She knew something was wrong. Now, what do you mean that Dixie lied to you about what? Edward warned her over and over again. If she even started feeling any kind of back pain, we would have to rethink the pregnancy. It looked like heartburn to you? How did, how did you get this on tape? It's part of Scott's documentary, the one he's making with Becca. Scott was there when, when you were doing this? How come he didn't say something? No, he wasn't there. He set up a video camera in the house, told us to forget about it. I never knew what the damn thing was on or off. The point is, she swore to me she wasn't going to hide anything. Not where the pregnancy was concerned, and like an idiot, I believed her. Well, maybe she didn't know. She might have thought it was a muscle spasm. It doesn't or... matter. Hayward drilled it into her head, along with every other doctor she saw. Clater, my father, Jake. Any kind of back pain could mean serious kidney trouble. Now, she didn't tell me because she didn't want me to know. Maybe she thought you'd overreact. overreact. I mean, you were tense. She didn't want me to know because she didn't want me to take her to the hospital, which is exactly what I would have done. She didn't want to see a doctor. Because she knew that a doctor would ask her to terminate the pregnancy. Right. She was so determined to have this baby, she was willing to risk everything to do it, including her life. Now she's already talking about having another one. But that's how I felt, sad after I had my miscarriage. Liza, Liza. You just want hope. You're, f look, you're you're healthy, you know. Your ticker's fine. You got two normal kidneys. Dixie's another story. Why can't she just understand how unfair it is for her to jeopardize our future together? It's unfair to the boys. It's unfair to me. What's unfair to you, darling? This day just gets better and better. I'm gonna get out of here. Tad, Tad, wait. Go, go easy. She, she's had a hard time. You know, so have I. Oh, was it something I said, Liza? No, Mother, it's just your timing. It stinks. Can't we just go someplace and talk? No, alone. you're not going yeah, anywhere. It won't take long, I swear. Just give me five minutes. Why don't you just quit harassing her? Fine, I'll, have, I'll say what I have to say right here. I didn't sleep with Raquel. Don't she lied. It. You were caught with your pants down. So what, Raquel just made that up? She did it out of spite. She came on to me, I turned her down, she was ticked off. Ra Jillian, Jillian spoke to her. Uh, uh, she had a conversation with her when we came back from Texas. Tell, tell her what she said. Well, I, I asked Raquel if anything happened. About us sleeping together, right? Yeah, and she said nothing happened. 
You were staying at her parents' house. For God's sake, you're not going to do anything under their roof. I wouldn't do it there. I wouldn't do it any anywhere else. What about that night on the dance floor at our club? Okay, I was going to I was gonna get there, all right? Jillian spoke to her the next morning, and what did she say? Huh? Well, she told me she was moving out of the condo and that it broke her heart that Mateo hadn't begged her to stay. Well, that certainly makes his case. No, no, you see, you, you don't understand. I can tell that from what she didn't tell me that they didn't sleep how together. Can, how can you tell? Are you psychic? Were you hiding under the bed? You don't have to insult me. Well, forgive me, but that's hardly a ringing endorsement. Hey, Lee. I, I believe Mateo. When, when Raquel came back from Texas, she said she was going to really fight for Mateo. And, and she said even her parents pushed them together. And, I mean, it looked like things were finally going to work out. I mean, you saw them on the dance floor. Exactly. Exactly. Why do you think I left? But it, it, it was just a dance. That's all that Until happened. Until you took her home, and then you slept Nothing. with her. Nothing. I didn't sleep with her. Did she ever say anything to you about me sleeping with her? No, she didn't. See? That's because Raquel was too ashamed to tell Jillian anything. But she told me that she felt dirty and used. Because she knew that you were all ticked off because you saw Ryan and me together at SOS. You didn't even sleep with her because you cared about her. You slept with her to even the score, and then you walked out on her. She threw herself at me, I rejected her, and then I walked out on her. I swear. Oh, you can swear on a stack of Bibles for all I care. I don't believe a word That's out your of your father mouth. talking. All right? He's brainwashing no, you. No, no, no. Stop blaming Mr. Chandler. Take some responsibility for yourself. It's okay, Ryan. I actually feel sorry for Raquel. She's just one of your victims. She trusted you. She trusted that you wouldn't hurt her, and you did. Just like you did me. Haley, listen to me. I know you believe me. Don't do this to us. <laughs> us? Well, Mateo, you're the one that's always telling me there is no us anymore. I have to figure out things for myself by myself. Now I want you to leave. All right, Mateo, you heard it from her. She wants you to leave. I love you. You're not gonna cut me out of your, your life like that. It's not gonna happen. You know that, right? We, we, we've been through too much. Exactly. You put me through too much. The saddest part is I don't even know who you are anymore. that he loves you more than life itself. Why can't you just give him one more chance? Please leave her alone, for God's sakes. Haven't you done enough for one day? You okay? I'm fine. Go. Go to her. You were supposed to call before you popped in during business hours. Oh, well, um, I, I was running a few errands, and then, well, I just found myself in your neighborhood. Mm. And uh, I can tell you have a favor to ask, so why don't you just ask it? All right, Liza. Um, listen, I was thinking of hosting a small brunch. Well, actually, it's not so small. That's the problem. I can't squeeze everybody into our little cottage. Ah, uh, so what you want is the Chandler Mansion with the in-house chef. No, not the mansion, darling, just the terrace. And I thought we could put up a few, you know, folding tables. Mother, why are you throwing a party? Don't waffle on me. Just out with it. Tell me. Okay, are you familiar with Millicent Greenlee? The woman who single-handedly blackballed nearly half of Pine Valley from the country club, who 
picks the debutante list every year and makes the rest of the girls feel like something that she scraped off the bottom of her shoe. Oh, darling, now she's not that bad. <laughs> yes, okay, all right, Liza, she is that bad. But now that I am Mrs. Stuart Chandler, I intend to show her that she cannot just dismiss me. Oh, so you've had run-ins with her already. I had a slight run-in with her at the Glamorama, but I held my own. I, and this is what this party is supposed to prove, that you can embarrass her in public? No, not at all, darling. I wanted to put Stuart on the committee for the Pine Valley Society for the Preservation of Historical Architectural Treasures. You want Stuart to get involved with that? I think he'd be a terrific asset. Mother, those, those people, they just have tea. And, and they gossip, and they, and they, and they, and they plan the cotillion. You, you want Stuart to seriously get involved with something like that? Well, maybe if he were, they would know what, what um, historical preservation's all about. Liza, I think you could make it a worthwhile organization. And besides, I think it's time that people know what a really gifted man Stuart really is. Oh, Mother, did you talk to him about it? No. Hmm. But I think if I ask him, he'll say yes, and he'll be the happier for it. No, Mother, you'll be the happier. Thought I'd do uh, do a little sketching because it's, it's, the view over the valley is so clear today. Do you want me to leave so you can have some privacy? No, 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 no. If you if you want to be alone, I can come back another day. Oh no, no. If you're kidding. Given the choice between being alone and being with you, I'll pick you any day. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I won't say a word. Can I? Oh, forgot I was supposed to talk. Uncle Stewart, it's okay. You can talk. I want to show you something. It's a sketch I did a long time ago. Yeah, it's a self-portrait. What's that stuff coming out of your head? Looks like lightning bolts. Yeah, it is. Uh... Remember when I was not having such a good time with, uh, Gloria? You mean when she said she wanted to be with Dad instead of you? Yeah. That's the one. And so I drew that, that picture when I was really, really mad. And, and, and it made me, made me feel better. I could have, I could have screamed and broken some dishes and stuff, but in, instead... I did that. My dad put you up to this, didn't he? Up to what? Trying to get me to vent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, well, he's, he's worried about you. He's... I worry about you, too. I hate it when you're sad. You... Because you... You, you, you block everything up inside, and, 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 and that's not good. Haley, when you're sad, I'm sad, too. Don't be. I feel better already. What is it with you, Mother? You, you wangled your way into the Queen's Garden Party, and now you want to fiddle around with Pine Valley's elite? Liza, that is a hateful thing to say to me. No, it's not. Isn't that what it amounts to? No, it doesn't. Anyway... You know, Haley's staying with us, and, and her doctors advised her to get peace and quiet. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Liza, I'm not about to invite a bunch of rabble-rousers. It's going to be an afternoon of grace and refinement, that's all. Oh. You have a guest list? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. Here it is. Wavy. Oh, and right at the top of the list, you really want to hobnob with the dreadful Millicent Greenlee. Darling, she's the president of fact. She's also the snobbiest and bossiest woman in all of Pine Valley. 
That irritating granddaughter of hers is constantly drooling over Scott. Oh, yes, I've noticed. <laughs> Mother, no. Do not tell me that you approve. Well, now that you caught on to me, you want to give it a try? What, draw a self-portrait to express my bad feelings? Yeah. Yeah, it helped me get rid of mine. Didn't help Van Gogh. He still chopped his ear off. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, I, I think he was a little bit... Um, in the cuckoo. <laughs> I think... <laughs> but, it, but if you don't want to draw yourself, then why, then why don't you draw me? Draw me. Draw me draw, make me a, a potato head. Or a... <laughs> or a scary cop. <laughs> You can never be scary to me. Because you're too sweet. No. Oh. <laughs> Sucks. Thanks, anyway. Yeah. The reason I... The reason I mentioned Gloria... is because even though she... It, she really hurt me. I was very sad then. But look at how everything is... just turned into a happy ending. I, I'm... I'm married to the most wonderful woman that ever lived. Maybe I'm meant to be alone. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think... You want to have children, don't you? Mm. Yeah. More than anything. Well, you're going to need some help with that. I don't know. How can I ever trust a man again after what Mateo put me through? I mean, we all make mistakes. Think, look at the mistakes Adam has made. <laughs> Good grief, and, and yet everything's worked out. He, he ended up with Liza. Who'd ever have thought that Liza would have been good for him? But she is. So is Colby. I really thought Mateo was the one, you know. I, I felt like uh, every corner of his heart was a home for me. And then his first wife shows up and she brings their kid. And I tried to get past it, you know, I tried to be good and forgive him for not telling me about the first wife and for a little while it worked, but I guess the joke's on me, isn't it? Uh, have you had a chance to talk to Mateo since since you got out of the hospital? I mean, I mean, just just the two of you. No. Hey, I think maybe you should. You know, stopped by here earlier today. Oh. What did he say? You know, he wants us to get past this, try to work our way back to each other. And... Well, that's what you want, isn't it? I really don't think that I'm strong enough to make any decisions about anything right now. I think I have to figure out who I am first. You're the same beautiful person you've always been, Haley. I wish. Oh, you are. Everybody knows that. Yeah, well, then why do I always wind up getting hurt? Hmm? I don't know. Maybe that's... Well, that's just part of living. But I don't know anybody, anybody at all, who'd, who hasn't been hurt by someone they love at least once in their lives. Even the kindest of people. It's like you. Well, I think it reeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how do you know Greenlee? Mother, she's interning here for the summer, but she spends most of her time hanging around Scott, coming up with flimsy excuses so she can be near him. Well, why not? He's handsome and he's a great cat. Mother, she's not interested, and she doesn't give up. Well, I gotta tell you, I approve much more of her than that little Becca from Pigeon Hollow. Mother! You know who sounds like the snob? 
Isa, it's not a question of snobbery. It's a question of reality. I think that Scott should be seeing people of his own social standing. No. Let's get back to my party. Can I please have the terrace, darling? I'll do anything you ask when you please let me have it. Oh, stop whining. Fine. You can have it on the terrace. Oh, darling, thank you. I love you, and I'll make it up to you, I promise. Bye, darling. Liza, mm. I got it. I figured it out. I figured what out? How to turn the tables on Dixie. Make her see how it feels when she risks her life. How? I need to borrow your plane. You need to borrow my plane. Adam's plane, whatever. Can I? Why? I'll explain uh, later. Right. Please. Uh, well, Please. I, yeah, I guess he wouldn't mind. Fine, thank you. Thank but you wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're, you're, you're not gonna... Oh, you're gonna fly this Just give thing. me a minute. Just give me a minute. Honey? Dixie? Yeah, hi, it's, it's me, honey. I'm, I'm at the studio. Listen, are, are the boys gonna be uh, uh, at school all day tomorrow? All day, right? Good, excellent. Uh, nothing, nothing. I've uh, got a little surprise for you. Those are the flowers. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I, I just really need to wait for you to get here. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. You really do. Um, I don't believe, Aunt Phoebe, that you've met uh, Millicent's granddaughter, Greenlee. Hi. Where, where do you work out? Uh, Greenlee, over here. <laughs> She's visiting for the summer. Oh. Interning at WRCW. I see. Visiting, interning, and uh, <clears throat> exploring. Winifred, dump those and bring back something tasteful and bring it back. Yes, yes ma'am. How do I look? Oh, oh, Stuart, you look perfect. You look very handsome, darling. Uh, but we're not ready for you yet. Oh, but is, but is it going to be pretty soon? Because my hands are, are getting kind of clammy. C could you run down again that stuff you wanted me to say? Oh, darling, you're not nervous, are you? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, don't be. Everything's going to be just fine. Just remember, when Phoebe mentions the beautification of the town hall, you come on out and you just say hello. Okay, okay. But I, I know about the hello part. That's easy. It's this, it's this thing about the cupola. Okay, the cupola on the courthouse is a scintillating touch of Victoriana that should be treasured well into the 21st century. Okay, got it, got it. Right, the cupola, cupola is, the, is the crown. Exactly. And then I'll, okay, I'll try not to forget. Oh, you won't, Donna. You're going to dazzle those women from the Society oh. of the Preservation of Historical Architectural I, Treasures. I don't care if I dazzle those people. And, and I don't care if I'm accepted by the prehistoric ladies either. Of course you care, darling. No, I don't. All I want is to make you happy. And you have, Stuart. You really have. Thank you. Okay. You want me to hide now, huh? I'm sorry, yeah, just a little while longer. Okay. But try to find some simple flowers for me, okay? Big, simple. Big. Sure, okay. Have you reached Scott? Uh, yeah, I, I, I left a message. Okay, keep trying. Okay. All right. Bye. I wonder where he is. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, Phoebe, darling, I'm so glad you could come. You said Thank Scott you, was dear. coming. Scott will be here, darling, any minute. Um, why don't you have a uh, so California roll? Oh, no, I don't think so. A tuna maki, then? No, I don't think so. They're Scott's favorite. Oh, well, in that case. <laughs> Greenly, Greenlee, mm -hmm. try to be less obvious. Marion, take a deep breath. It's just a luncheon. Have you talked to Phoebe? Uh, no, actually, I didn't get a chance. Uh, Millicent was hovering. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there something wrong? Not yet, and uh, you can help keep it that way. Uh, Phoebe, could I talk to you privately for just one minute? Of course, dear. Okay, excuse us, darlings. We'll be Certainly. right back. Uh, <clears throat> darling, I, I, I need a favor from you for Stuart. Of course, darling, anything for that dear man. Oh, that's wonderful to know. Now, listen, when, when Erica and all the rest of the guests arrive, I want you to... Millicent. 
How nice to see a friendly face. I was so hoping you were going to be here. Vanessa, <laughs> you look radiant. And I guess I know why. Palmer and I are very happy. <laughs> you must come to dinner after you've settled. We would love that. <laughs> I can't believe that Vanessa was invited after what she did to Erica. That would be my mother's doing. What is Marion trying to do? She's trying to brunch her way into Pine Valley society, I think. <gasps> Vanessa is a vulture. She's a vulture who's married to Palmer Cortland. Are you joking? I wish I were. <sighs> Opal is a fat lady, right? Is she, gonna, is she coming? Oh, if she is, get ready to duck and cover. And besides having a wonderful sense of color and design, Stuart really cares about architecture. Phoebe, he would be a terrific asset. Yes, he is exactly what we need to push that old bat Millicent out of her belfry. Just leave it to me. Oh, then we're set. We're all set. Lead on. Oh, there. wonderful. Thank you so much, B. You're very, very welcome. Oh, my. You know, I remember how, how jammed my calendar was when I was your age, Greenlee. So how on earth did you find a complete afternoon to spend with historical treasures? <laughs> oh, I'm always up for making history. <laughs> and grandmother assured me I wouldn't be bored. <laughs> Oh, Vanessa, darling. Welcome. Do make yourself at home. Oh, sort of just like you do here, Marion. <laughs> yes, just like I do. Oh, by the way, have you met Phoebe Wallingford? I don't believe I have. Oh, do, do. She's very brave. Or very foolish. And I understand your house was the historic tour of last year. Well, Phoebe finally persuaded me to open my doors to the crowds. My rugs took such a beating. Oh, oh Millicent, stop <laughs> acting as if it were such a sacrifice. You know you loved the way they oohed and aahed over your silver. Well, I'm sorry I missed it. I just hope I can be of more help uh, this year. Well, Palmer and I will be happy to pitch in, too. <laughs> Perhaps Vanessa and Millicent could arrange some sort of Halloween event for the kids. You know, kids, they love witches, especially real live ones. Eliza, could you please keep your suggestions to yourself? Oh, no, you know, I think a Halloween party would be just a wonderful idea. Me too. Maybe Stuart could do some pumpkin carving. Oh, how quaint. <laughs> but this is not a folk festival. We are preserving tradition. Oh, I agree. You do? I have the discussion topics for the meeting. Shall we begin? Uh, I think we should wait for Erica. Oh, good idea. But I don't think I can delay lunch another minute. Uh, Winifred! Mother. Are you going to kowtow to that old prune all day just so you can scratch your way up the social ladder? Liza, I am doing this for Stuart, remember? Oh, right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Has Scott even bothered to call? Oh, I'm sure that he just wanted to miss all the small talk, you know. Oh, why don't you just sit down, relax, darling, and enjoy your lunch. He'll be here any minute. Um, listen, darling, uh, one more frittata over there. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Sorry that we're late. <laughs> I see you've gotten off to a great start. I'm not staying. I'm on my way to the airport, actually. Oh, well, but Marion, I guess, uh, what, the messenger couldn't find his way to my place for my invite, but I know that you wanted me to be here, right? Oh, oh but please let me explain. Oh, there's I... no need to explain. You see, Erica, you were right. Sometimes we just take our closest friends for granted. Uh, it was an oversight, I'm sure. No, oh, well, actually, I was just trying, trying to, to wake... Uh, Oh. Oh, well, I had no idea that Vanessa would be here. Why did you ask her? I'm sorry, Oh, well, I had to. I, I, I was... Erica, dear, it is so kind of you to make certain that Opal's not neglected. Oh. Opal, dear, please come over here and sit by me. Oh, oh, thank you. I'd love to. Listen up, everybody. Millicent has just asked me to chair the topiary committee. Isn't that divine? But <laughs> that's my committee. I have chaired that for the last three years running. Which is why we've decided we'd, we'd go in another direction. Uh. Well, that's wonderful news. 
because now Opal can serve with me on the benefit committee. I have been trying to recruit this woman for years to help me out, and she's just been wasting her talents with those, those silly plants, of all things. <laughs> and you know, anyone can talk to a plant. It takes real fundraising skills and people skills to, you know, to get money out of people. <laughs> <laughs> so you just keep that smile on your face. The only thing well, keeping get you down. Yeah, the only thing keeping my face on is my makeup. You want to come to the airport with me? You want to see me off? Thanks, honey. I'm going to stick it out here. Maybe I'll get a chance to stick it to Vanessa. <laughs> That's my girl. That's the spirit. You just remember that you are by far a better woman. You know, I would be proud to be on your committee, Erica. Thanks. No, Opal, I thank you, because now I know that my benefit committee is in very, very good hands. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye Erica. Good trip. Well, now that you've gotten your assignment, Opal, what do you suggest as a benefit? Oh, I don't know. Um, how about a day of beauty at the Glamorama? <laughs> well, I think it sounds like a great idea. I love that idea. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, but we shouldn't forget about our beautification project, should we? Uh, perhaps we need some new blood in that committee. Perhaps <laughs> Greenlee could volunteer. Hello, everyone. Oh, uh -huh, Stuart. <laughs> oh, Stuart. <laughs> not, not yet. Not yet. I, I brought these flowers for you, Mary. Thank you, Stuart. Uh, Stuart, dear, was there something you wanted to say? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, it was. The cupola on the courthouse is a scintillating touch of Victoriana that will be treasured well into the 21st century. <laughs> that hideous cupola, it should be demolished. Oh, really? Oh, no. Don't you love the little, uh, the goo gaws around the top and, and, and all that gingerbread? Oh, y you should sit on the steps of the courthouse one day, a bright sunny day, and watch the light and shadow playing across the courthouse lawn. I have much better things to do with my time, and I'm sure these other ladies do, too. Let him talk, Millicent. The man is an artist. He has insights that we lack. Thank you, Phoebe. It is so beautiful. It, 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 it's, it's, it's like God is it, it, playing hand puppets across the sun. Uh, Stuart, would you like to join me? Uh, we were just getting ready to serve dessert. Okay. okay. Thank you, Eliza. Winifred, would you mind clearing? Phoebe, you can't really think that this man should be on the committee. Oh, Millicent, stop being such a snob. Really, Phoebe, I do have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> if you ask me, you'd do better off to lose it. Uh, uh, Winifred, uh, please pass the pastries, would you? <laughs> Just pass them. Thank you so much. Oh, dear Lord, this is not what I had in mind at all. I'm, I really blew it, didn't I? I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, no, Stuart, you were perfect. You were wonderful. Obviously, Millicent is just far too set in her ways. Well, I think I've had just about all I can take for this afternoon. I think I shall be going. Uh, goodbye, ladies. Mm -hmm. Greenlee, are you coming? Might as well. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Strawberry tarts are the best. Oh, I love tarts. We, Marion and I had them on our wedding. Oh, please, Stuart, let's not talk about weddings. <laughs> Why not? Well, some people are so bitter. <laughs> Who? Well, not me. I know when I'm well out of hell. <sighs> well, now that uh, Millicent and her granddaughter have left, I'm afraid this party's going to become a crashing bore. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, my goodness. Would you look at that? Oh, my Lord! Uh, well, I, I wish you wouldn't rush off. I, I'm sure Scott will be arriving any minute. Tell him to call me. Well, uh, why don't you go down to the pool, take a swim? We've got uh, extra suits in the cabana, and when Scott gets here, I'll just send him down there. Well, I mean, after I have a few things I'd like to discuss with your grandmother. Oh, I doubt it. I, I need a ladder. Does Adam have a ladder? I have no idea, Stuart. What, what's wrong, darling? You better come out here and see for yourselves.
Hi, everybody. Looks like a nice party. I'm sorry to drop in unannounced. Ted, are you all right? What are you... Yeah, I'm okay. Good. There's uh, just one problem. Oh, dear. What's that? I can't reach the pastry. Liza, I need you to do me a big favor. Call Dixie on Adam's jet. I told her I was going out for ice. She might be a little worried. Oh. Or not. Oh, Ted, what happened? Oh, I'd seen the in-flight movie, so I decided to step out for a little air. At 20,000 feet. Are you all right? Peachy, could somebody help me get down? Oh, yes, all right. Where's the ladder? I can't. A ladder, a ladder. I'll get a ladder. OK, yes. you, you stay right there. That will be really help? good right now, oh, Stuart. Well, Daytime's premier talk show host, Tad Martin. How are you? It reminds me of Lucky Lindy's landing in Paris, only he used a plane. Oh. Hey, would you just be still? Honestly, Marion, dear, is this one of those hidden video things? I mean, your greatest bloopers and blunders, or what? <laughs> Marion, dear, if you are trying to impress Millicent, this aerial stunt is not the way to go. Now, may I suggest a string quartet? Phoebe, do you think I planned this? This this brunch was supposed to be Stuart's entree into Pine Valley society. I mean, who knew Tad Martin was going to parachute down into one of our trees? Oh, Stuart, where's the ladder? The, the gardener's shed is locked. Well, we can't just leave Tad up there twisting in the wind. Or maybe we can. We have, we have one in our garage. Well, then run down and get it, darling, and hurry. Yes. Hurry! Okay. Feel like a weenie? I wish I could. Where the hell is Stuart with that ladder? Ma? Yeah? Tell the truth. Does this make me look fat? This <laughs> yes. harness is killing me. Oh, you want egg and they try living half your life in a girdle? No, thank you. What demon possessed you to jump out of a plane, might I ask? You know, borrowing the plane did not entitle you to jumping privileges. I didn't jump. It was an accident. Yeah, well, I just talked to Dixie. She's on her way from the airport. How'd she sound? How do you think? Probably like she wants to use me for a pinata. Mm. Would somebody cut me down from here, please? There he is. So. <clears throat> What do you think, Frank? You ever seen anything like this? I've saved cats from trees, kids from burning buildings, but this is a first. Hey, you're Tad Martin, that guy, that guy from TV. Oh, my wife's nuts about you. Glad to hear it. Tell you what, you cut me down, I'll give you an autograph, OK? Oh, sure thing. You got the ladder. I'm, I'm kitchen duty. You got all the equipment. Guys, guys, listen. Far be it for me to break up this charming moment, but uh, EMT usually means emergency. Trust me, this is an emergency. Cut me down now. Mm. Oh, there's an ambulance in the driveway. Liza, what's happened? Oh, um... What in the devil are you doing in my tree? Waiting for the leaves to turn. Uh, I know that this probably looks a little odd. Odd? You call it odd, I call it diabolical. Look what you're doing to my tree! Oh. I demand that you get back down oh, from there. For God's sake, Adam, don't pop a vein, okay? You're lucky I didn't land on one of your guests. They're not my guests. Thank God. Miriam? Ye gods, there are more old bones here than Pine Valley Cemetery. You better get your husband down from there before I call a tree surgeon. They don't use anesthesia. Hey, honey. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Really. Just hanging out. I can see our house from here. That's fascinating. Well, enjoy the view, darling. Because tomorrow, you will die. Did I scare you? Scared me? No, no, you didn't scare me, Tad. No, I'm I'm used to your stunts. Well, sweetheart, technically it wasn't supposed to be a stunt. Oh, oh, yes, that's right. You were teaching me a lesson. 
Yeah. Yes, that was a wonderful lesson. I got to watch you fall down and down thousands of miles to the earth. That was very educational. You want to know what I learned? That you love me more than life itself? That you're a royal jackass. <laughs> This is classic. I, I gotta get back and call. No, while well, video history passes you by, no way. Come on, <laughs> get in. There. Dixie. Scott, yes, perfect timing. You know my husband, the chimp who fell to earth. Oh my God, he's got a video camera. I'd uh, like to get this on tape if it's okay. It is not. It's a fabulous idea. Roll them, smile, honey. <laughs> Show us your assets. I got well, it. No, no, it's all right. Wait, I'll, I'll, uh, do, I'll do it. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll do it. All right, you checked out okay. No broken bones. Nothing hurts? Just my pride. <laughs> I'll put the ladder back. Right. Now, the secret is you sift the flour twice, twice, right? Twice. It's the foolproof recipe for the perfect tart. Mm. It's good. Try the, this one. Excuse me. Would anyone like one of Winifred's uh, scrumptious tarts? Uh, Vanessa? <laughs> or Melissa? No, thank you. I think I might take another... Oh, well, never mind those poor folk up in the cheap seats. Um, uh, listen, um, I, I, I want to thank you guys, really, for cutting me down. And I meant what I said. If there's ever anything I can do for either one of you, you just you let me know, okay? As a matter of fact, um... Oh, oh right, right. The uh, the autograph, terrific. I'll just uh, I'll get uh, a little cocktail napkin. Actually, I, I, w I was hoping you'd get me tickets to Chef Larry. <laughs> yeah, that, fine. I'll just call me at the studio and I'll I'll see what I can set up. Would you please see if you can find some scissors and cut me out of this? Scissors? You trust me with scissors? It's my wife. Likes to keep her husband tied up in nuts. Oh, yes, that's because Dad here is hilarious. He's the life of the party. Everybody loves Tad. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you are a big, fat, stupid head. Let this be a lesson to you. Can't please all the people all the time. Thank you, Brooke and Phoebe. We must do this again. Not in my <laughs> lifetime. Oh, this brunch was an absolute embarrassment, was it not? Brunch? <laughs> it was more like a three ring circus. <laughs> There you are. Uh, Winifred will be serving uh, mimosas momentarily. Oh, they're not on the terrace, one hopes. <laughs> Actually, I have another engagement. Oh, so do I. Actually, I'm meeting Palmer, and he does so hate to be kept waiting. Oh, <laughs> how like a newlywed. <laughs> Call me. We'll do lunch. Absolutely. Marion, dear, me. just remember what Oscar Wilde said. When people are talking about yes, you, that's not bad. It's only when they don't talk about you. <laughs> Ciao. Oh. Uh, Oh, Millicent, can't you stay for just one teeny tiny mimosa? Because Stuart's going to be right back. And I, I, I want to give him my regrets. Adam, yes. I'm so sorry we didn't have a chance for a proper visit. Uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry for, that I apologize for the, the outburst. It's just that Ted Martin savaged a very special tree. Special. I had that tree transplanted here from my boyhood home. Stuart and I used to climb in it. I understand. Stuart's a natural when it comes to nature, you know. He talks to the trees and they listen. <laughs> Adam, I know you're dreadfully overbooked, but I was wondering if I could entice you to join the board of our Society for the Preservation of Historic Architectural Treasures. Billis and Ed Bion. Ed. Actually, Adam and I have been very busy with the baby and with work. I, mean, huh. I don't think we could actually fit it into our busy schedule. Uh, oh, Millicent, if there is an open chair on your committee, um, might I propose? I, I actually, I was thinking of creating a special honorary chair for Adam. We'll keep it warm until your schedule lightens up. <laughs> Marion, you've done it again. I knew you would. <laughs> Thank you. Liza, Adam? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Me? You know the reason she's doing that brunch. 
She's trying to get Stuart on the board of that committee. And of course, like every other plan, it failed miserably. I gotta say one thing for you, honey. You sure do know how to make an entrance. Glad you enjoyed the show, Ma. Yeah, well, once my ticker got started up again, that is. Dixie didn't look any too pleased, though. Good. Maybe she'll get the point. What point? Well, before all the drama, I was trying to convince her how stupid it is to take unnecessary risks. What, by falling out of an airplane? I didn't mean to fall out of the airplane. It was an accident. In any case, gambling with her life is a hell of a lot more frightening to me than that parachute. Oh, so you're still scared about her getting pregnant again, huh? No, Ma, I jumped out of the plane because of her cooking. Look, why don't I go over and see Dixie and uh, find out if it's safe for you to go home? No. Thank you. I don't need you to soften up my wife. I've, I've got a lock on that job. Oh, you do, do you? Oh, yeah. If all this fails, I'll just resort to boyish charm. Yeah. These couldn't hurt either. Wish me luck. Good luck. You'll need it.